guys! It's me, Alex the Hunted, and I'm going to be doing a few videos at the moment, currently talking about stuff I found interesting at Comic-Con this year. And to start it off, I am going to be talking about Legendary Pictures Godzilla panel. Yes! We got the panel, and the, I'm so excited for the film, even more now. Devin Edwards and the cast, I can't remember the names off the top of my head because I'm terrible with names, but anyway, they talked about how it was like being on the film and what we can expect. It looks, I'm so pumped for the film. And then apparently they showed the trailer at Comic Con and they didn't upload it online on the internet again! You, this is the second year running you've done this, Legendary, for a Godzilla one. You did it in 2012 to show off the demo stuff for Godzilla, and now you're doing it for this year, for not showing the actual trailer, never forgetting that you missed a, the perfect opportunity to put a trailer for it in Pacific Rim, but now you don't even upload the trailer that you show at Comic-Con online. Why not? What is your reasoning here? You think just the name alone is going to bring in the audiences? You've got to show a trailer soon. We're getting into about... What is this? It's, all, it's July now. We are... Uh, whew, how, many, how many months away are we from this film coming out? Uh, we're coming to the end of July by the time I record this. And that's August, September, October, November, December... Wait, I, did, I think I did that wrong. I'll, t I'll count again. Uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. That's, you've, yeah, that is 10 months. You've got 10 months. Usually films have a trailer, at least a teaser trailer out, sometimes even two year, even a, just about a year before the film comes out. And... You have done teaser trailers, but you haven't shown the world. You've only shown a select few at a convention. That's not how you get people interested in your film. Just word of mouth isn't good enough by itself. You have to... Most people who go to cinemas, who will probably go and see this film, have never been to Comic-Con. They don't know about Comic-Con. They're just... You know, the casual audience, the most people who will go and see your film, you need to do a better marketing job than you're currently doing. The Godzilla encounter, which again, you didn't upload the footage for your actual encounter in that, although it was kind of a case of people, apparently when people were told, you can't put your cameras on in here, that's basically like telling people, don't push this red button, because you can't hold these things from the internet, and lo and behold, the footage of the Godzilla encounter was uploaded and I actually saved it immediately to my computer but I'm not going to show it because most people who actually have put shown the Godzilla encounter have had their videos taken down pretty much immediately but I am going to show you an image from it it's the one way we get a basic look at Godzilla's we don't actually fully get to see Godzilla's full design no one's seen it yet not even uh, not even people who saw the trailer apparently but uh, from what we can get from this picture right here, it is a basic outline of Godzilla's upper body here. So if you can see around about close to the nose area, looks like a bit of a dip, that's probably where the eye is going to be. And as we can see around about here is where the mouth is, the shape of the mouth. Uh, also looking across, it looks a about like this the neck shape is around about this shape kind of like an actual reptile reptilian kind of dinosaur -y kind of arc to it dorsal fins actually start around about here I can notice that's when they start and they are get they do from the rest of the footage that we do see the dorsal fins do get around about they uh, do get bigger of course and Right about at the bottom here, it looks like this is where the arm starts. This is where the, the shoulder jo joint will be for the arm. Uh, again, could be wrong on that one. And this actually does look like it's a mixture of the Heisei and Millennium, Mine Millennium designs of Godzilla. More around about the side designs that they use for that series. Around right about... A combination of that with Godzilla looking more lizard-like for the like, uh, the Millennium, and Godzilla having a bit of a, a 
a, a, a short snout, short kind of face that he did in the Heisei series. It does look a combination of that, and it does actually look promising, this design. All people are going up saying they don't want it to look like the Geffen, the uh, Ron Edwards uh, Godzilla. Neither do I, because that wasn't Godzilla. But I do understand in making Godzilla look more reptilian, because... People will go on and say, oh, he should be standing bolt upright and all that. That's the only reason they did that was because it was a guy in a rubber suit. I do believe that uh, if Toho would CG Godzilla, they would probably have him more uh, more like a T-Rex kind of. Not entirely, but he does. He won't be standing bolt upright. He'll be standing more uh, with a, you know, more with a... a um, all people are going up and saying... They don't want it to look like the Geffen, the uh, Roland Edwards uh, Godzilla. Neither do I, because that wasn't Godzilla. But I do understand in making Godzilla look more reptilian, because people will go on saying, oh, he should be standing bolt upright and all that. That's the only reason they did that, was because it was a guy in a rubber suit. I do believe that uh, if Toho would CG Godzilla, they would probably have him more, uh, more like a T-Rex kind of... Not entirely, but he does. He won't be standing bolt upright. He'll be standing more uh, with a, you know, more with a, a um, you know, more of this kind of angle than he does like this. Because usually in, until about the millennium, I can't say it, millennium series, Godzilla was bolt upright like this. That's how he is. That's how he stood. In the millennium series, he got more like that, especially around the back, around the back area. For this one, it does look like going more like that, which I actually personally would think would like. As long as they don't go like the Roland Edwards one, where he's like that. That's where, that's his, that's where his back was. I, and it does look like it. And again, we haven't we haven't heard the roar, or we don't know if he'll be breathing fire. But apparently, from what we can gather from the trailer that was shown at Comic Con, because there was another monster shown, and. A bit of confusion. Apparently, it, it looks like a cross between Mothra and Kamanga. Which, again, it's a reboot, and I would like to see some classic um, Godzilla monsters shown. My personal picks, Gigan and King Ghidorah. But again, I don't think they should be the first monsters Godzilla should fight in this new, new reboot, if this actually becomes a franchise. Neither should it be Mechagodzilla, again, that would be too soon. So, a more obscure monster from the classic series, or a completely new monster, I'd be totally okay with. I'd be totally fine, and I think it would work in his favour. Because with this one, if you did that, this could be... This is basically going to be an origin story of Godzilla. Which, totally fine with. Again. It, it, it does need to be... It, it needs to be put in the right hands, and it does look like it has been with Geffen Edwards. The only problem I do have is it has been put in the hands... Of, it has, has six writers, the script did. But, who... I know, but quite a lot of films have quite a lot of writers, I mean... And they turn out fine. So, all in all, I am very anticipated. I'm very excited for this reboot. And just give us a trailer. Pardon me. Legendary. That's what we want. We're tired of waiting. And tired of being told how great this movie is by people at conventions and in articles. We want to see it for ourselves. Are you too scared that the fan reaction is going to be too negative? Is that why you're holding back this trailer so much? Because you know what would stop this negative outcry if you actually uploaded the damn trailer? It wouldn't be that hard. You Clearly you already have it. And the film has finished wrapping up. It was actually when Comic Con started, Godzilla finished filming. Obviously, you got to do the CGI stuff now and edit and all that, and now, now it goes into the real hard stuff of production. But just a trailer, just a teaser. That's all we're asking for. Just upload something like that online. Yes, you can give us concept art, but we want the real deal. That's what we want. It's not that hard. Just please give it to us. And I'm done ranting now, and I am. I want to get put it across. I am really excited for this movie, and I'm Alex the Hunted. Godzilla 2014 does look like it's going to be a the reboot Godzilla deserves, unlike Roland Edwards. And I'll catch you guys next time.